State men's basketball entered the 2016-17 season with a roster brimming with new talent, adding 10 newcomers to a squad that welcomed back a red shirt and four letter winners. Headlining the returners were seniors Shane Rector and Jalen Moore. Rector appeared in 28 games for the Aggies, starting in 15, and led the team with 29 steals. Rector scored in double figures nine times during the year, including a season-high 18 points in an 80-79 overtime victory at Utah Valley. It was Rector's free throws with 1.9 seconds on the clock in overtime that sealed the victory for the Aggies, marking the fourth time in his career that free throws from Rector in the final seconds paved the way for a Utah State win. Moore wrapped up his career at Utah State as one of the most balanced players ever to don an Aggie uniform. The native of North Logan led USU with 17 points a game and five and a half rebounds per contest, making him just the third player in Utah State history to lead the team in scoring and rebounding for three years. Jalen Moore also left his mark on the Utah State record books, finishing in the top 10 of 11 career records and among the top 15 in career rebounds. Moore scored a career high 27 points in the 2016-17 finale against Nevada, bringing his career total to 1,645 points, ninth best in school history. Moore earned his third consecutive All-Mountain West honors, picking up second-team accolades from the league. In addition, he was named second-team All-District 17 by the National Association of Basketball Coaches and an All-District 8 selection of the U.S. Basketball Writers Association. Moore was not alone with postseason recognition as freshman guard Kobe McEwen was named Mountain West Freshman of the Year in addition to honorable mention, all Mountain West honors. McEwen led all freshmen in the Mountain West with 15 points and 31 minutes per game and finished second among freshmen with five rebounds and three assists per game. The totals were the most for a true freshman since USU All-American J.C. Carroll averaged 15 points and four rebounds per game. McEwen matched Carroll's single game scoring record for a freshman with 28 points, scoring 24 of his 28 in the second half of Utah State's 79-63 victory over UNLV. McEwen led the Aggies with 27 points against San Jose State in the first round of the Mountain West Championships, marking the most points by a freshman in postseason play in school history and beating Carroll's record of 22. Overall, Utah State opened the year with three straight wins before traveling to Cancun, Mexico as part of an upgraded schedule under second-year head coach Tim Durier that includes stops in other destination locations in the upcoming years. The Aggies finished the year with double-digit victories at home, the 23rd consecutive season with 10 or more wins at home for the Aggies and the 35th consecutive year with a winning record in the D. Glenn Smith spectrum. The Aggies will continue to work to build upon their success with a group that is team oriented and family oriented, with a group that focuses on high character people that are coachable and play unselfish basketball. The Aggie way.
Brito. Brito gets the pass back from Porter, and he does. Back over to Rector. Rector crosses over Telfair, gets him on his back heels, and gets it to drop. That's Backdoor cut and a dunk to play of Taylor. He will drive on Rector, and Rector steals the ball. 